What up, everybody? We have Mr. Alex Martello here. Alex, how are you doing today? Doing great. Can't complain. Cool, cool. So Alex, Alex is a funny story because actually I called him on accident um, because I was messing around with some things with like my sales team. I called him on accident and he answered. And we ended up having a conversation. And he ended up joining the program. Um, but I will say Alex did think this was a thing was a scam <laughs> about a month or two ago. Well, how long ago did you join? A month ago. I think it was month. the like a month and 10 days. Month and 10 days ago. Yeah. But I convinced him to join. He's like, oh, I'll try it. You know, he's probably thinking to himself in his head, I'll just contact my credit card company when it's a scam and get my money back. <laughs> but he's here and he's done very well. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. And the first question I'm going to ask you is, so you joined a month and 10 days ago. Now, what was like, what was your experience with sports cards prior to joining? Did you ever try to make money? Did you know anything? Um, did you have cards? Like, tell me about that. No, yeah, it was pretty much brand new. Um, There's a sports card store in my town. I got involved with, with it just a little bit. I actually went down to the National in New Jersey and Atlantic City, and that was like my first taste of like sports cards and how much money can be made. So, um, you know, I saw people walking around with briefcases of money and I was like, I need to get involved with this. So like yeah. right after that, I think that's when your ad came across on my Instagram and I just clicked it. And, um, you know, I definitely was skeptical coming in, but you know, you, you definitely convinced me at the, at the last second and I'm, I'm glad I did it though. Yeah. As, as you should be right. Well, yeah. you, don't, you don't know me, right. You just saw me online. There's a lot of scammers online, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but so it's good you joined and so you had no previous history so like what was your um what was your reasoning for joining like like obviously you want to make more money but like everyone usually comes in with a different reason you know sometimes they want to go on more vacations some people want to quit their jobs some people want to i don't know just make a side income um just do something they really can't at the moment. like what was your reasoning for joining yeah i've been looking at different ways to like start a like a mini business on the side um you know nothing too crazy, but, um, I've looked at a few different things and nothing really excited me. I, I was just looking for something that was a little bit more, you know, exciting just to get, uh -huh. you know, to do something that was fun. I enjoy sports. Like I said, I've never really done anything with sports cards, but I think it was just more so to have like a little, you know, business on the side. And I think that's, that's why my outlook to this is more about learning the skill set, growing, you know, a, a little small business right now and then hopefully make it bigger in the future so that's kind of the reason i got into it it wasn't necessarily for the money but money's a nice thing to have you know and and of course i definitely of course. see what you can do in in this in this business so yeah no yeah you're only scratching the surface which is good yeah. um and then so golden question um so you joined a month and 10 days ago about how much money have you made since joining and then how much money do you expect to make in like the next, like, I don't know, two months or so? Yeah. So right now I'm sitting at probably 2,500 in profit. Um, I do have like, that's expected profit with just one or two more cards to sell. Um, but definitely made some mistakes early that, you know, I could have had more profit, but I think learning those things, it's helped me identify cards moving forward. So I'm glad I did, but um, moving forward, I'm probably looking at if I get a, a good return on my orders that I have out PSA anywhere in the neighborhood of, you know, four to four to 5,000, uh, on top okay. of that. So, um, you know, definitely went very quick into buying, but, you know, I've, I've tried to be very strategic about it and with the help of my coach, you know, um, you know, I try not to bother him with every single card question I have. It's more like, let me do my research and then see if I can make a profit and then send him a question. So like, I really yeah. try to, yeah, I, I think the first like five cards I sent him had dings everywhere. And I was like, all right, I can't bother this guy. I got to just like do some more <laughs> research. So now I'm really like, you know, trying to find the right cards, the right people. And I've built relationships on Facebook already with people that like just send me their cards from break. So, um, you know, that's why I have, I think I've bought like 50 cards in a, in a month and a half. So I kind of went, a little a little aggressive with it <laughs> that's good that's a good yeah. thing more but the, the beautiful thing about it is you'll always hear me say this like let's say your first three months you make like nine ten grand whatever it may be now now like after those three months are up now you have more money to spend you have 
better knowledge, your skill set is higher and you have more confidence. So now like, it just like grows. Um, Cause obviously this is a game, like, you know, the more money you have, the more money you can make. Um, right. And also you'll have more confidence. So like, you're only scratching the surface. Like now, um, you know, you'll, you'll see like the amount of money you make, the rate yeah. at which you make money will go up, which is great. And then tell me about like, what's, what one specific card, like tell me about one specific card that you made the most money on. Like, what is it? How do you buy it? What were you looking at? What'd you pay? What'd you do with it? PSA, Beckett, um, did you say, how much did it cost you to get it graded? What'd you sell it for? How'd you sell it? Give me the rundown on the, on one card um, yeah. that you made the most uh, on. So the biggest win so far is the, I got a Jamar Chase contenders optic to 20 variation. Um, I paid, I think 700 for it, which I actually paid like right when the product came out. Cause it was one of the lessons I've, I've learned, but I, yeah. I bought it for like 700. It's, you know, probably selling now for 600, but, um, I flipped it. I sent it to Brock, uh, base. I think I paid the express fee. So I was all in for like 850. I ended up flipping it for, um, 1800 without even touching it. So, um, you know, that was probably my biggest win so far. So I netted about a thousand on that one. Um, and I found it through Facebook, um, it was in the sealed Panini case. It, it was a redemption. So um, it looked clean. It was hard to see everything through the through the case. I saw like one little dimple, but um, Brock said it was good. So we sent it out and, you know, it was a, it was a good win. So um, good. yeah, that was, that was probably the best one. Can't, can't complain with that. A thousand bucks not touching it. Yeah. <laughs> can't That's, go wrong with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so another question for you is, so you've had a lot of success, success a lot faster than, the usual i would say so like what do you like what's not what's your secret but like what part of the program like do you think it helped you the most was the calls videos coaching like you know what do you, what do you think helped you out the most yeah i think it was just a mixture of like diving into everything and and understanding like the mindset that you bring to the table more of all right i'm building like a brand and a business so like the social media part of it has really helped me. Um, I think finding deals on there and like building relationships with people and asking the right questions. I think I've found that to be my success is that I have people coming back to me who want to sell me cards because I'm not nickel and diming them like really low. I'm giving them fair prices. You know, I'm not I'm just trying to build a relationship so that in the future, if they have a card that they win in a break, you know, they're coming to me and they're saying like, Hey, I got this, any interest. And, and I have like 10 people that are doing that right now. Um, so I try to find, you know, those people. And um, I would just say like, I've really just bought in and had the mentality. Like if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it hundred percent and I'm not going to, you know, question it. I'm just going to take what I've learned and, and build on it. So I think it's just like, I think it's a mindset thing. And, you know, just being like positive about it. Um, and I, you know, I join every call that I can um, try to do my coaching every week and just take every bit of my coach's advice and, and run with it. So I think like, that's the main thing for me is, you know, understanding that it's, it's a long, long process. Like it's, it's going to be, you know, something I want to do forever. So if I make a couple mistakes now, I'll learn from it. If I don't make a million dollars in the next year. Like it's not the end of the world. Right. It's, it's yeah. just, it's, a few, it's, it's, I'm building for the future. So I think that's the mindset I've had. And um, I'm a little bit of a like gambler by, by nature in terms of like, I'll take a, a little bit more risks in buying cards. And, and if it, if it comes in, it's, it's scratched and I missed it, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'll just sell it raw and take a little bit of a hit on it. So there's a few cards that I've, I've lost like 10, 20 bucks on you know, that I knew if I sent in, we're going to come back nines instead of just like taking, mm -hmm. you know, taking the risk there. So I think that's just like kind of overall where my, my head's been with it. Yeah. It's important. It's important to be, you'll always hear me say this, like, cause you're, you're right. You're driven by the, you're process driven. Like the money, right. like it's what you just said, right. The money's great. Of course, we all want to make more money, but the process is what you became obsessed with, which yes. is why you're making a lot of money. Right. And that starts with like, and this is a big thing I learned, especially like, um, like starting major league profits. Cause like outside of sports cards, I pay for a lot of like business coaching and the best thing you could ever do is just totally lose your ego. Just be like, okay, I'm going to listen to this person blindly. Like right. just, you know, if he tells me to jump off a bridge, I'm not going to do it, but like, I'm just going to listen to him, go at it for, you know, X amount of time, totally 
commit and see what happens. And that's the mindset I've given myself with business as well. And it's really worked because like, you know, there's a reason someone's a mentor or a coach. Like, you know, it's not like, I'm not telling you I'm a better person in any type of way or shape or form. I have a ton of flaws, but I have been doing sports cards full time for seven years. So I like yeah. to think I know a thing or two. Um, right. So it helps to just lose the ego and just go, which is why you've done very well. Um, and then last question I'll ask you is what advice would you give to somebody that's new in the sports cards? And don't say join my program. Let's say they can't, they don't have the money to join the program. What advice would you give to somebody? Um, so just, I think one, there's a ton of money to be made in this. Um, it really just is, I, I think you have to master the craft first, which is why I joined the program and why I needed someone to tell me like what direction to go. But there's a million things in the sports card industry that I didn't know even existed before joining the program. So I would say, you know, if, if you can join the, join a program, join the program, get help, get a coach, but if not just, you know, try to be, be cautious in it. There's a lot of people that are gamblers in it. There's a lot of people that are, are, you know, going to try to take money, you know, away from you in terms of your cards and everything. So like, I think the best thing to do is have a sense of direction, have a plan. You know, that's why I think coaching is really important with anything and, and the program's important. So I think it's like, have a set process, have a plan, you know, don't try to go in blind to it. Cause at, at that point, you're really just gambling. You're not, you don't have any type of, you know, plan put together. So I think that would be my biggest advice is just have a, you know, process a plan and, you know, take your time with it. And, and you can definitely make some money in this, this business, this industry. I've, I've seen it firsthand. So you know, hopefully that helps. All right. That was good. Well, yeah. I appreciate you taking the time out of your, out of your day, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Thanks.